Well, guys, community members today are applauding Chief Smith for taking that step to address some of their concerns. However, many of them still believe that there's more information that needs to come to the surface here. I think it is good that there was at least a conversation restarted. I think it's a step in the right direction. Two Richmonders and former co-chairs of the Civilian Review Board Task Force give credit to Police Chief Gerald Smith. We are here to answer these questions. For sitting down with CBS 6 to address concerns about conflicting information he initially released about an alleged July 4th mass shooting plot as pressure mounted from community leaders and elected officials demanding answers. That is the entire premise of police accountability and transparency is when we when it's not done the way that we understand we want more accountability and Chief Smith gave that to you. The chief told me he was frustrated that people responded with skepticism about his claims because it took the focus off of praising the police for their work. I don't think that frustration is the thing that our public officials should be feeling when they're asked to be accountable by community members. And still, many citizens want to know where is the evidence that there was a mass shooting plot? We haven't seen any yet. I asked the chief if evidence of a planned mass shooting doesn't come out in court. Can you make a commitment to then making it public? I, I cannot. Smith blames communication failures for distributing premature information July 6th, especially when it comes to naming Dog Waddell as the target. He promises to fix that. I would like to know specifically what the improvements need to be from their perspective. There needs to be a clear strategy moving forward for the public that says, here's how we'll distribute that information. Here's how it will be vetted in advance. Obviously, we need to work externally on our communication. Council member Kristen Nye says the city as a whole must strengthen transparency. Just make sure we're clear, make sure more folks are available to answer questions and provide clarity. But I also think internally the information is not being exchanged as quickly and in the way that it should be. Since that initial news conference, Nye says she and her colleagues have requested to be briefed by police. It's now on the schedule for September 5th. That'll be two months after the fact. If we have something of this magnitude, I'd like more information sooner. As for what comes next, Nye pushes for police to directly connect with the neighbors who say they were panicked by the news. I also think it's really important that our folks from RPD get out there and really touch base with the neighbors in and around Zogwood South. And now I also reached out to Mayor LeVar Stoney's office for a statement. A spokesperson tells me the mayor believes there is room for improvement, particularly in communications.